on guys wanted to wait till I got off the highway to get this video going I'm on the way to the hospital uh, to pick up my son's new medicine um, I'm sure most of you don't know but some might uh, my son actually has a terminal illness um, which really sucks uh, his disease is called cystinosis and it basically affects every major organ in his body it's a pure genetic thing nothing we could have prevented or did um, so fortunately that's the way it is So he's on multiple medicines uh, a day. He's four years old now. We found out just before he was two. And um, it's a pretty horrible disease. Uh, you guys could Google or YouTube a day in the life of a cystinosis patient. Um, pretty much kind of sucks. We basically give medicine all day, all night. Um, it's not a kidney disease, but that's how we found out about it, uh, through his kidneys. He's actually already in stage one kidney disease. We'll most likely eventually need a kidney, you know, donor replacement, transplant, whatever you want to call it. Um, so just when you think, uh, you know, looking on the internet or Instagram that everybody's life is perfect, it's definitely not um, like I said most people would never know even looking at my son you'd probably never know but he actually has a g-tube that's been surgically placed into his stomach because all the medication that we give him all day long and um, the tube food as well uh, he doesn't eat much so we have to uh, give him tube food to keep him alive basically he's got medicines that basically keep him alive and keep him going so you know i hear comments and read comments on youtube and on instagram oh man life goals this that and the other thing but i gotta tell you i would give every single thing i owned up if there was a cure for his disease everything these bikes these toys all of it because really when you look at everything, what does it matter? All the money in the world, all the toys in the world, if your kid's not alive or he's sick all the time or he's unhealthy, it just doesn't matter. So be thankful if you're healthy. Thankful if your kids are healthy, your brothers, your sisters are healthy. Because this sucks. I never thought I was going to say anything about his disease um, on my channel, but you know, I figured, what the hell, it's part of my life. This is what we deal with every day. Medicine every day and doctors and hospitals. He just actually got out of the hospital for a spinal tap, uh, which is not a, you know, fun experience. I mean, you're asleep for it, obviously, but, you know, it's, it's a pretty risky procedure. I think it's gotten better over the years, but um, he was in the hospital for that. His is... Uh, optic nerves are swelling and he could go blind and they think maybe the medicine is doing it that's causing his optic nerve to swell and if we take him off the medicine he'll die so <sighs> our lives are pretty crazy so that's what I'm doing that's where I'm headed right now is the hospital to uh, get his another like 13th or 14th medicine that we'll be giving him a day and um, to stop the swelling hopefully so like I said guys just be thankful if you're healthy if your kids are healthy if your parents are healthy it's, uh, it's a pretty devastating thing to, to watch your kid go through this and you live through it and there's not a thing you can do about it unfortunately so if you're also ever looking to donate or looking into a charity for whatever reason, you know, the CRF, 
uh, Cystinosis Research Foundation. They're probably probably the leading research company or research facility that's that's working on a cure for this disease. So I'll put a, I'll probably put a link down in the uh, description just in case you're interested or uh, wanted to look into it. So, anyways, not all depressing. I'm on the Super Duke, which is freaking awesome. Um, how many miles? I had? I had 187 miles on this sucker so far. Um, I got the Ergo seat coming. Um, just put the rear seat cowl on today. And these tank pads, which I think look pretty cool. But other than that, haven't done, I've got a lot of stuff ordered, but uh, not a whole lot's come in. Time-wise, I'm not going to be able to mess with it anyways until probably after Christmas. But, um, what a fun bike. I do miss the FZ a little bit. I have not ridden the FZ at all since I've purchased this. Um, and I feel like it's an absolute sin to not put exhaust on this twin motor because <coughs> it sounds awesome, but it's quiet right now, so... Um, pretty sure going with that Austin Racing still. Definitely going to have to have it mapped. And I've learned a lot more from going on the forums and on... Um, uh, there's a Facebook page called Super Duke Carnage, uh, which is a, you know, a private page, but um, I'm on there now, and lots of useful information there, too. Actually, a lot of YouTube guys have helped me out, so I, I appreciate that. I've learned a lot from you guys that have, that own them and have chimed in about the fuel dongles and, you know, SAS removal and... Rottweiler uh, performance or whatever the hell is called dot com lots of lots of good stuff so I really appreciate that guys very helpful so I have a good idea of what I'm going to be doing now um, as far as you know once I put the, the exhaust on and how to you know make that run perfectly or perfect as it could be without being on the dyno and all that. I actually contacted V-Cycle Nut, who does tons of stuff with R1s. Um, did my FZ09 reflash. He's got a dyno now, and uh, he started getting into some Ducati stuff. He's got a he's got a Panigale, and unfortunately, he doesn't do anything with the KTM's as of yet. So. Not a, it doesn't seem like there's a huge market for him, I, I, which is crazy because, I mean, it's just such a phenomenal bike. I don't know. I can't believe more people don't have them or know about them. I mean, hell, I guess, who am I to say? I, I, the first time I seen one in person was probably three months ago. Supposedly, the dealers have always been out of stock. My local dealer had been out of stock of them. So, but really, I'd only seen one three, six months ago, whatever it's been in person. Scooter. But, uh, yeah awesome bike definitely it's breaking in i can tell the power difference from even when they first started i, I there's the, the sounds are different as well oh. but all right guys may cut this short I'm trying to get there as quick as possible i might get this medicine to my son and um deal with another set of medications super excited <laughs> so all right guys see you